Item number SCP-1167 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures SCP-1167 and any related objects are to be stored in a 3 meter by 3 meter by 3 meter chamber at Site-1167-2. Each is to be kept in a locked case equipped with a security camera. Site-1167-1 is to be staffed by two security personnel at all times, disguised as forest rangers. Exploration temporarily suspended. Any anomalous material or items found at Site-1167-2 are to be studied and cleared by Dr. Stinson before being brought into contact with SCP-1167. Description SCP-1167 is an automaton approximately 20 centimeters tall, consisting of a control unit attached to an articulated arm and a flat base. Subject's components are of unknown manufacture and utilized an advanced power source that has not required recharging at any point during containment. SCP-1167 was discovered by Spelunkers and redacted and delivered to local authorities who passed it on to Foundation personnel. Site-1167-1 has been established at a discovery location. SCP-1167 is capable of limited locomotion by pushing at the ground with the base of its arm to gradually propel the control unit forward. Left alone, SCP-1167 will attempt to navigate outside of any containing structure, at which point it will adopt a heading towards 23.56 south, 68.16 west, changing direction only to avoid obstacles. SCP-1167 is capable of synthesized speech, but does not respond to questions. SCP-1167 continually repeats the following message in 124 languages, including 8 dead languages and 15 which have not been identified. Broadcast alert! Recovery failed! Initiate retreat and seek reinforcement! Alert! Alert! Every nearby person speaks approximately five full sentences of a specific language. SCP-1167 will use that language exclusively until the person leaves the immediate area. Between each repetition, SCP-1167 will produce a one-second burst of static. The sound is identical each time, but has not yielded any meaningful information. SCP-1167 was delivered to multiple testing sites and placed on the ground to track movement over 100 meters. This information was used to triangulate the subject's possible destination. A research team was sent to the location, which is a vicinity of the Montreal Cove Crater in Chile. An initial survey yielded no anomalous discoveries. SCP-1167 was delivered to the site and placed upon the ground. SCP-1167 scanned the environment before speaking. Scan complete. Conveyance missing. Maintain location and await reinforcements. Site-1167-2 has been established for further study and excavation of the target location. Several anomalous objects have been located and presented to SCP-1167 to produce additional messages. Addendum SCP-1167-1, a mechanical hand with similar construction to SCP-1167, discovered 220 meters northeast of Site-1167-2, 5 meters below ground. The wrist is cleanly severed. SCP-1167 Reaction Scan complete. Missing component relocated. Retain for repair. SCP-1167-2 Unnatural scarring of a section of bedrock measuring 150 meter by 1 meter. Discovered 1 kilometer northeast of Site-1167-2, 8 meters below ground. Sample acquired. SCP-1167 Reaction Scan complete Archive status report Weapon modification ineffective Continue pursuit SCP-1167-3 
a non-functioning control unit similar to SCP-1167, minus the arm base, recovered during exploration of the cave system under Site-1167-1, four members of the exploration team remain missing. SCP-1167 Reaction Scan complete. Archive status report. Unit leader terminated. Target lost. Initiate retreat.